Hi, I'm Dr. Pontius, and today I wanted to talk to you about vitamin D. It's probably one of the most important vitamins that you can have, and also we have an epidemic right now of low levels. Some of the therapeutic benefits of vitamin D are in a variety of conditions, including osteopenia and osteoporosis, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes, osteoarthritis, and multiple sclerosis. In fact, studies have shown that a vitamin D level of 40 um, can prevent about 50% of multiple sclerosis, and levels of 50 have been shown to prevent 60% of multiple sclerosis. It's also associated with depression, epilepsy, migraines, polycystic ovarian disease, musculoskeletal pain, autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid arthritis and Crohn's disease, inflammatory conditions, and especially cancer. Um, it's, vitamin D levels are related to at least 17 different varieties of cancer. And almost every one is, um, almost every cancer is, uh, is affected by low vitamin D levels. Um, especially breast cancer, colon cancer, and prostate cancer. Um, studies have shown as well, across the board, 75% of all cancers could be prevented with a vitamin D level of at least 50 uh, nanograms per milliliter. Breast cancer, studies have shown a 70% decrease when vitamin D levels are greater than 75 nanomoles per liter. And also, low D levels are associated with fibromyalgia and periodontal disease. So where do we get vitamin D and why are we in such an epidemic of low levels? Well, we get it most commonly from the sun, UVB radiation, and we should all get some sun exposure, but with um, our worries of skin cancer and sunblock use, we really absorb essentially um, no vitamin D from the sun when we have sunblock on. So that's one source. A second um, cause leading to low levels is our obesity epidemic. Um, when you have very high body fat, the vitamin D um, that's absorbed through the skin has a very hard time getting into the bloodstream and into the system. And lastly, very few foods contain vitamin D. Um, in fact, milk has only 100 international units per cup, which is um, pretty low once we start talking about recommended dosages. So what is our optimal level of vitamin D? It's probably at least 55 uh, nanograms per milliliter and up to 80 is what I try to target my patients at. Um, I, I believe that all, everyone should have their vitamin D levels checked and then you should be dosed um, in relation to where your vitamin D level is. Um, getting 10 minutes of sun, sun every day is, is ideal. You don't want to burn your skin, but getting some sun, some sun exposure can be beneficial. Um, otherwise, um, because very few foods contain vitamin D, except things like cod, herring, or cod liver oil, which aren't consumed um, a lot in our culture, um, we do need vitamin D supplementation. And you want to choose a vitamin D3 uh, supplement. Um, and doses for that vary depending on your laboratory levels, and that's why it's important to test um, for that. So just a little bit about vitamin D. It's extremely important. It's probably one of the biggest bangs for your buck in preventative medicine and as well as treating a lot of common conditions. Thank you.